Welcome to this ICT lesson where I'm going to show you today how you can design a simple form like the one you can see here in MS Access and from this form you will expect users to feed in their information and that information which is fed through this form goes to a table in MS Access. The first thing to do is to ensure that you design the form the way you want it to, to look depending on the type of data you are going to collect from the users. Here you can see I'm going to have registration number but this one I will not allow anybody to type registration number it will be generated automatically in serial form from one two three like that and the user will only enter first name and choose gender. Then the user will be uh, able to click next so that um, another person information can be entered or there could be a submit button where somebody will just click and the process will end there for that person. And all that data which is fed through this form goes to a database table. So to design this form, I am going to specify the data types for each of these fields. The fields are these text boxes or combo box which are used for feeding information. So I will go ahead here and draw a simple T table and I will use this in my access table design. So the first thing I'm going to have here is the title and here the first, uh, let me just write here field, then I'm going to decide the type of data which will come in data type. So our first field is the re registration number and uh, I can have it here, reg number. And the data type, I don't want anybody to type any numbers. I want it to be generated automatically. So this one will be of type auto number. That is in MS Access. The data type of the number will suit this one. And then the next one is the first name field. So I can have here first name. And the data type, I think short text will be the best. next field is gender. With the gender field I will not allow anybody to type any information but just to choose from the list and that is one method of preventing people from feeding error. So here um, I'm going to have short text but I will show you later how you can create that list where people choose options rather than typing. For now, let it be short text because it will accept either male or female words. Now from there now, I can go ahead in MS Access and design this table. Then from the table, I will be able to generate a form easily. I, I click of a button to start access I will just search here I will go ahead and choose blank desktop database and 
can give it a name like schoolmate. I will use this icon to choose where to save it. Let me just uh, save it in, on the desktop. I can even call this school db for database on the desktop. Now you can see the path changes after specifying the location for saving it. Finally, click create. In this blank table, you just go to its uh, design view. Yeah, design view of this one. And I can call this registration. Registration. And click OK. Now I will go ahead and simply copy this from my design here to that MS Access table design. So the first one is the registration number, which is auto number. I will go here and write uh, reg number. And it is type auto number, so I will not change it. I will leave it like that. The next one is first name, which is short text. So I can have here first name. And I can just have short text there. Then finally, we have gender as short text. Now remember here in this design I'm supposed to provide two options for the user to choose and this one this way we will minimize chances of somebody typing errors by just selecting from the options and to design this this is what I will do in this gender field for the data type I will modify it and choose lookup wizard this one will help me write the options for that field. After clicking Lookup Wizard, you choose here in this Lookup Wizard box. I will type in the values that I want, then click Next. Here, you have options to type. The first option is Mail. And below it, just click the box and type female. You can add as many options as possible depending on the nature of the data you'll be collecting. So in my case, I only have two options, male and female. Then I will just click next and uh, just click finish. Here. So finally, on the background, we have the options, but here they are not visible for now. Also, I want to ensure that my first field is our primary key and it is automatically set. So I don't need to do anything here. So I will switch back to the datasheet view. And you can see I have a table which is ready to receive data. And if I close my table here, it is still available here, I can still open it. That is how to make a table for the form. The next step is to make the form which will be used to feed the data into this table. To make that form, the first thing is to open the table to which it will be feeding data. So I'm going ahead here and double click. Now, while this table is open like this, you just click Create, and under Forms, you click Form. You can now see the form is automatically generated, and it is in what we call Layout View. This is Layout View. The work of the layout view is to allow you to 
modify the form for example I can come here double click and change this to student registration form you can do other things like expanding this you can make it small big the way you like it because we are operating in the layout view when you are satisfied now you can switch back to the form view and it is in the form view that is where we feed data to the form so i will go ahead here and enter before I do the testing, let me just save this form and give it a name, write form. So I have a table and registration form here. If I open this form, you can now see I'm able to type information to it. So I will go ahead and just write here, John, and John is a male, and you can see registration number is automatically uh, inserted. I will come down here and click next, and you can have another person can have Christine with a female then coming down here I can click next I can come here and write Alphan with a male and click next so here I have a navigation buttons I can I can switch to previous person and you can see the person here previous previous like that and also up here we have first record if you click this you are taken to the first person and uh, we have last record if you click this you are taken to the last person if if you want to add a new person you can click new and you add somebody like maybe Sarah who is female Then you click next to complete the task. After using the form, you can now check your table and you'll see the people you are adding in the table. That is how simple it is to make a registration form for entering information in a table. Try this at home. See you next time. Bye bye.